you think? Hey, uh, good morning. It's uh, Tuesday morning, September 24, 2019, and I'm headed into, uh, or I should say I'm leaving work for the day. Um, I just uh, stopped into work to pick up my laptop. I'm going to be working from home today, so the, uh, the issue, uh, Sophie's not any better. So yesterday, Sophie was having some issues with her leg. Uh, it's her front front leg she can't put any weight on it at all and this kind of seemed to be a thing or happened uh, last night and um, it's not any better it's probably worse today so I'm basically carrying her around now and uh, kind of freaking out a little bit you know, we got like wood floors and stuff in the house and a lot of times she slips and slides on those floors and it's it's rough. And uh, I don't know. So I'm wondering if she slipped and sprained it or something. But I found, uh, I ordered a same day delivery doggy wheelchair thing. And uh, I'm going to take her into the vet. Maybe they can get like an x-ray or something. Make sure it's not dislocated I mean she, I've been noticing she's been pushing out her elbow for months on that same paw or leg and she's compensating for something or whatever it's been getting worse and worse and worse and now she can't even walk so um, I kind of think that it's like basically her going lame and uh, that's kind of what's happening but um, trying to prevent that any way possible but I'm hoping if I can get like a little wheelchair thing and she can use that to walk or whatever then she um, it'll take it basically just takes her weight her legs will touch the ground and stuff but it holds all of her weight up it makes her weightless uh, I don't know I don't know what to expect I don't know what to do with any of this but we have a lot of stairs in the house uh, it's a tri-level, so there's three levels connected by two different stairways. They're not full stairways, but it's still a lot of stairs when I'm, you know, doing laundry downstairs and cleaning in the kitchen or cooking in the kitchen or there's a few steps just to get out to go to the bathroom. She does that a ton every single day. So, um... <sighs> it's not looking good, though. She just turned 13. And uh, if her leg goes lame, like it's that's I don't know I don't know what what to do because yeah so I was just in hysterics this morning just beside myself and uh, there's just a lot going on. Yesterday I got the class contact list for Grant's class. So the parents all sign up to give out their info. And uh, then the teacher compiles all that and then sends out a list to everybody so parents can contact each other. I wasn't on that list. And I'm almost 110% sure she had a sign up at the meet and greet where people could provide their info. And I did. And... I'm still not on the list, just Grant's mom. So she told me, I emailed the teacher last night and I said, you know, what, what gives? You know, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I gave you my info on meet and greet night. And she's like, well, I sent out a bunch of notes and blah, 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 and, and all I had to go off of was Grant's mom's info. I'm like, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's true. I'm pretty sure we gave out both, um, we both gave our stuff. So anyway, I emailed all the parents last night, and I've already received probably about five or so, or six RSVPs from his classmates. So I think that puts us right around 10 or so. Um, Sunday, Rochelle messaged me, and I invited Logan. I don't know if they'll be able to come or not. She said they have another party that day or whatever. 
so they might not be coming. But um, I just uh, I'm still overwhelmed. Not, none of this is very like super crazy, or whatever. But it's just it's all at once. Nikki is completely tied up with this silly show she's doing, and I don't know. She pretty much forgot that Grant's birthday was upcoming, and I had to kind of tell her. But she's like, yeah, I got an extra practice day of schedule for Tuesday, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Tuesday's Grant's birthday. And she's like, oh, I totally forgot. I'm like, don't you have a calendar? Oh, yeah, well, you know, I haven't had time to do this, do that. And I'm like, all right, dude, whatever. Just sad for Sophie. It's so hard. She's always been there for me. And she's still, even hurting and barely can walk today, she's still trying to follow me around the house. And it just kills me. You know, I'm trying to get her to just lay in one spot and just relax and rest. And she, um, won't. Can't. This fucking kills me, man. Love her so much, but it's not looking good. Sophie's been having some really bad leg problems. You can kind of see how she kicks her elbow out here. She won't put any weight on this leg either. Right here, you can see how it bends out. This one goes straight down. I don't know if that's elbow dysplasia. She's in a lot of pain. I don't know where. It's almost like she can't bend. Uh, she's bending that okay. It's clicking. I got you so. She's shaking because. I noticed too when I was like holding her and kind of manipulating her. This whole area. It's even doing it now. I can hear it. It's clicking. Her shoulder on that side is clicking. Love you so <laughs> Come on, self. Go poopy. Come on. You gotta go potty? Alright, come on. She does not want to walk. She wants to pick her up. Her legs are completely lame. Look at that. You okay, self? All right, we are headed back home from the vet, and they did two x-rays, one on each of her elbows, and basically showed me how messed up they are. And she, um, the, the, he, the doctor, gave me um, a anti-inflammatory medication to go along with it. So this one, um, I think it's called Galapran or something like that. So one pill a day for 10 days, and I'm just hoping that that'll get her at least able to walk on that leg again. I don't want her going lame. Um, if that happens, her other front leg isn't gonna last long at all. So I'm gonna have to see. Um, her wheelchair hasn't arrived yet, so just want that to keep, to help keep weight off of her leg. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, What a day. What a day. So I'm going back home. We're going to chill for a little bit and then go pick up Grant. And, uh, yeah, I'm worried about Sophie. She's fine other than these leg things. And, uh, uh, love you, Sophie.